Dexter's baby. I love this shit. I'm what you call lone wolf. I like to walk alone. I go hunt for the feeling. I thrive out on my own. Look at my eyes, look at the prize, look at the mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Heart in my chest, holding my breath. I'm addicted to the game. Hello, my name is Jace Allen, and welcome to Whitetail Addictions. I'm 27 years old. I live in Missouri. Um, been hunting all my life. Been hunting public land for the last uh, couple of years. And uh, this year, I had the opportunity to to go hunt Kentucky for the first time ever. Um, I'd got a lead on some on some pretty big deer. This being one of them. Um, I went down there and uh, started scouting, started getting a, a general pattern together, and uh, ran into one of the other bucks that I was hunting down there quite a few times. And in the course of hunting that other deer, it actually got me ready for the one time that I encountered this deer. So I just had, um, I went in and I stalked that deer, I looked, and that deer got up right before 11 o'clock and it was a 150 inch eight pointer so i don't really know what i want to do now do i want to shoot that 150 inch eight or do i want to keep on you know staying on one of these one of these other bucks i don't really know he's in a good spot i know i could get him tonight I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is Jace Allen with Lone Wolf Custom Gear here. And uh, we're leaving the stands in the truck right now because we have a mega giant bedded out here in the beans. This is the same deer I put the stock on the other day. I got 16 yards away from him. He slipped through my fingers. He's bedded right back in the same spot today. Except today I got Hunter with me. So we're gonna kill him. Let's get it. Well, as you can see, it is 10.55, that deer shed in velvet, and apparently he wants it off really bad because he just got up and sprinted through this field everywhere except for where we were at, and then ran down the road 50 yards and then hopped into the corn. I guess it's just another day for him. 
It's another day for us too. We'll be back. I got on this Boone and Crockett this morning again. Um, he's bed out in the beans. Me and Hunter, we made a move on him. And the deer is just, his personality, personality is just kind of, I don't know, he's just like a spaz. <laughs> the best thing I could do to explain that deer at like 11 o'clock. He is shedding velvet, which probably explains a little bit of the craziness, but he was like that anyways. So it's just even worse now. But, uh, but anyways, I'm going to go hunt this other deer tonight and we'll see how that goes. And then I might be back in the general area tomorrow morning seeing, uh, seeing if I can get eyes on on that big that big typical 11 again so we'll see how she goes so the uh the deer i've been chasing i've just been saying boone and crockett he was uh he was shot this morning by another guy that's been chasing him around um It's an interesting feeling. This is the first time that I've ever really like hunted a specific deer for like longer than two days and you know really got to learn the deer and thought I had a chance with him and I knew this deer was back in the beans today but he just wasn't where I was and uh, one of his guys got an eyeball on him this morning and uh, he went in about eight o'clock and shot him at 11 and uh, I got done with my morning observation at 11 and uh, saw him over there and drove over there had no idea what happened and uh, he told me everything right there I'm happy for him don't get me wrong I uh, you know I'm happy for you know whoever you know whoever or whatever hunter shoots whatever deer I'm gonna be happy but uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit heartbreaking whenever you put your heart and soul into you know something like that for you know today was day 17 okay so now it's like September the 21st or something it's 1 38 in the morning and those guys just brought that dog in to help track that deer and we came up empty the guy that was tracking the uh, dog really just thinks that whatever kind of hit that he said he put on the deer he thinks it was just like a flesh wound or something doesn't think it was significant at all um, so there's a chance that this deer is like still alive he did get on something big and he did bump something big um, so there's a chance that this deer is still alive and I got like four days left here so I'm just gonna stay the course and I'm gonna hunt like he's alive because that's I don't I don't have confirmation that he's dead yet so my hunt just got a little more exciting for the next four days we got a cold front coming in I harvested four deer in a row with this I can't even explain to you uh, you'll see some video it's like they almost get hit hard or punched and then they don't even want to run and they just don't go far and they die. It just seems like it kills them a little different than a regular broadhead. That's how the new lone wolf broadhead puts them down, brother. You can make aluminum as strong as steel, uh, and when you unique design, you can do whatever you want. Again, this is way out from where the industry's at, going a totally different direction. More kills under our belt, experiment, uh, and there's gonna be hundreds, if not thousands of guys running this broadhead this year, and we are gonna see. That, that'll show you the real picture, not 18 deer, our new motto is uh, recover your deer, not your broadhead. Yeah, you're not gonna break these blades, they're just I think you'll wanna give this one a shot. 
and I think it's going to change industry down the road. Thursday, September the 22nd. Um, I'm sitting in a little island of trees. There's beds all in here. I'm on a decent wind. Um, it's kind of an all or nothing spot. I got a couple days left here and um, so I'm just gonna sit out here in the morning till about you know nine or ten o'clock and then um, I'll go I'll go glass out in the bean see if he's out there in the middle of the day and then I don't know what to do in the evening but the, anyways that's the plan that's what we're doing there's a bunch of big, big beds all around in here man it's just I know this deer's been in here so hopefully I can catch him slipping in here one morning. We'll see. Crabs is right out there. That deer's got to be. He's he's fucking huge, dude. That's the biggest deer I've ever seen in the wild. He's just right out there. I'm pretty sure I just watched him bed, dude. This is nuts. This is so crazy. I can't believe this deer's out here. This deer was shot like second day of season. And I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I can get a shot at this deer today. If I just bide my time, I think I can get him. I really think so. I just came back to the car. I just got an eye, eye on crabs. Um, I got everything I need ready. And uh, I am moving over probably like 200 yards and I'm going to come at him from a little different angle. Um, this should be good, man. He's just right, right there. My setup is like right here off the road and then he is right there. Maybe 100 yards. I'm sorry, I'm not going to get a whole lot of video of this. Um, that just kind of is is what it is. I'll, I'll get what I can. Um, hopefully, I try to film from the ground up so you can at least see what it looks like if you were laying at my feet. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, we're going to go get this. We're going to shoot him here in the next couple hours. So. Wish me luck, although luck has absolutely nothing to do with this. Nothing. All right, I'm, I'm back in the beans. Um, just had to check things out real quick, make sure he's not stood up yet, but uh, I am, if I'm not in range, I'm close to it, of, uh, of crabs here, so. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes so far. Um, noon time's at like 10.25, it's 8.40 now. So, this deer is gonna get up here in the next couple hours and uh, he's gonna stand up, move around and feed. I'll be here all day if I need to. Um, like I said, unfortunately, not gonna get this shot on camera, but um, I'll try to lay the phone down like this. You guys can see a little bit what the fuck's going on, so. That's what we got going.
I'm addicted to the game. Oh my god! I think I just killed him. I think I just killed him! Are you kidding me? That last shot looked perfect 63 yards. I just pounded him! Oh my god. So I knew where the deer was laying. I knew which way his body was oriented. And uh, I had a good wind to allow me to get close to this deer. And so I got to 20, 29 yards. The deer was still in its bed. And I got there at 8.30 in the morning. And I knew that I wasn't going to get this shot on, on camera. Um, I knew that going into it. I think I mentioned it a couple times in the film. Um, the best I could do was face the camera up at me. Um, and so I got to my spot at 8.30, set up in the beans. And that deer stood up at 11 o'clock. Um, just like I had seen, you know, sometimes before uh, with other deer out in that same area. And, uh, and I was ready. I was ready this time. So... The deer stood up and I got a range on the deer. All I could range with was the deer's rack. Um, and I went to full draw and as you guys saw, I'd, the first shot hit the deer about mid body. Uh, it was pretty low. It would have done the job, but um, if, if there's a deer a pretty fair bit out there and I can still get an arrow in them, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try so what you guys saw there was the second shot um, at 63 yards um, Really hard left to right wind super super hard quarter and away angle wasn't the best shot in the world to take um, But I was I was going to take something to, in attempt to um, End it a little sooner for him and fortunately I hit him square in the heart Okay, I'm gonna start tracking this deer I uh, yeah, I got blood right here so he went in somewhere right here into the into the CRP so let me see what I can find blood right here so did go in right through there Dear God. Oh my God, I got him. <laughs> I got him. Oh, oh, geez. that deer is fucking huge. Oh my God, let me get this set up. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the biggest buck of my life. Oh my god, it's fucking crabs. <laughs> oh. Yes! I can't even believe this. Oh my god! <laughs> all this hard work, all this dedication, everything, everything I had came down to shooting the biggest buck of my life. This is Andre Custo from Lone Wolf Custom Gear. I wanted to thank you for watching Whitetail Addictions and ask that you become one of our silent partners by hitting the YouTube subscribe button and following us on Facebook and Instagram.